they're gonna have to rebalance them because it's like a lot of them are just like they're they're built for dynamax man like and they're broken outside of it banana rank five that that's a big drop in rank we played a 500 now we're playing a 5000 and this guy's got sand huh that's a uh, that's interesting sand They really hate Kyogre, I can tell you that. Uh, screens on lead doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, I go Landris, Grimmsnarl, Kyogre, Dialga. Yeah. Alright. What really got me there is that there wasn't an Amoongus. At least I don't think so. Did we see? Yeah, we saw all four Pokemon. There wasn't an Amoongus. I think had I Dynamaxed earlier, I could have won that. Uh, but it just wasn't worth the risk. Also, Dynamaxing early is usually not like the best option if you're if you're being real, you know. All right, let's see if we can uh, end the losing streak. Groudon on Excadrill. Literally, like, the best possible lead. I'm going to Swords Dance again. Last time this didn't work out, uh, but I'm pretty certain this is going to work a little differently. Yeah. You guys at minus one. Uh, what item are you? He's white herb. Okay. Uh, is it worth it to get out of here? Honestly, I don't think so. Like, they have very little to really hit me. I think I'm gonna go for the Swords Dance. I don't think it's greedy here. Unless they Dynamax Excadrill, like, it's, it's really not a bad idea. And the worst they're gonna do is Steel Spike me. Like, they're not gonna get a KO on my, on my Landorus this turn through screens. And more than likely, they're just going to want to go for the um, the Grim Snarl. Also, the funny thing is, um, if they decide to go into Tyranitar here and then Steel Spike the the Grim Snarl, which is what I think they did exactly, Venusaur. Okay, um, I should. Are they gonna Dynamax? Okay, yeah, that's a little greedy. Um, I should be fine. I should be fine. Because I just get in my Kyogre next turn. I hope they rock fall and just break their own sash. That'd be pretty cool. Clark, thanks for the follow. Pretty sure they don't. They should steal spike. Yep. That does next to nothing in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but here's the issue. I'm going to get my Kyogre in here. And I really need this to KO. But it's likely Sash. Dang it. Is it Sash? Is it Sash? Yeah, it's probably Sash. And just dodge. Why not? Let's just dodge. Yeah, no, we're facing sand, but it's, like, not sand. Also, the Excadrill was White Herb. So I guess I could have KO'd it here with a max uh, Quake. 
but I'm not sure if that would really be worth it. Max guard, okay. Probably just gonna go for a sleep powder, I guess. Okay, no, that's fine. That's that's actually better. I'm pretty sure we KO through that because we are at plus two. Even though this thing's at plus one defense, I think we KO. Awesome. No, that's great. That's great. So I wonder where the sash is. You would think that if you're running Koba on Venusaur, it's because your sash is somewhere else. Eveltal. Okay. Um, I can just rockfall that thing. And that should do it. I, the only thing is I don't want to give it... I don't want to give that thing Sand Rush, so I'm a little concerned. Um, honestly, that, that isn't really a big deal. Let's get in the Grim Snarl here. And uh, we'll go for the Airstream. Plus two airstream I think might do it, but Eveltel is pretty bulky. Nice. Okay, we got that. I'm assuming they're just gonna quake the uh quake the Grim Snarl here. Yep. And seeing as there are two physical attackers in the field, I should be able to wrap up this game pretty easily by just going for, like, um... I think I literally just, like, fake tears the the Excadrill to make sure it goes down next turn, and I can just go for, like, a Quake into the uh, Groudon. Or an Airstream, honestly. Airstream's technically better. Nah, we'll just fake tears you. And uh, quake this guy. There's the fake tears. That means it's definitely going to go down next turn. All right, awesome. So we might have managed a 4-0 here. Press this blades. Shouldn't KO Grim Snarl. No, it does. Okay, critical hit. Alright, and their life orb, which is actually pretty interesting. You really don't see that. And I can just send in this guy and go for um, Earthquake plus Roar of Time. Actually, I'd like to click Roar of Time because I've never seen that move happen. I have literally never seen that move go off. So why not? Let's go for Rock Slide Roar of Time. It'll make for a good thumbnail too. Please don't forfeit. Give me my thumbnail. Ah, okay. Okay, you know, I, ju I just want a thumbnail is all, but you know, we can go for it later. We can go for it later. Don't you guys hate that when you're like on the verge of doing something pretty cool that you just don't get to do in the game and they just forfeit? Dynamax would be way more balanced if it was just one turn. I don't know. Um, one turn's a little bit eh, because it's like... Because it, at that point, it's just a Z move, dude. Like, I don't know. How can we change the team it was doing so well? Well, I mean, as a content creator, you can't just use the same team every day. Um, granted, some people are fine with it, but uh, people get bored, you know? And I get bored using the same team, you know. This team really doesn't like Dialga, but uh, Dialga really doesn't like Eveltal. I'm thinking... Okay. I'm going to lead Grimmsnarl and Dialga. And I don't mind giving it a weakness policy if we just, like, steal Spike a ton. So it's like, whatever. Uh, we'll go Kyogre in the back, and I think my last one's going to have to be Pharaoh. 
What is Dialga not like Bacon? So Eveltal is a super special defensive Pokemon of the format that tends to run Assault Vest. Uh, and it always carries Snarl and outspeeds Dialga. So if you Dynamax in front of it, uh, a, a good player with a Snarl Eveltal can always stuff it. Alright, Whimsicott, Raikou. The Raikou probably has Snarl and Screens. If you're going to run Raikou, it's usually for that reason. So I'm not going to Dynamax just yet. Uh, I would like to get off a Light Screen, though. Actually, well, Light Screen now will reflect later. <clears throat> uh, and I'll just go for the Flash Cannon on the Whimsicott. Yeah, the meta is shifting towards Life Orb Eveltal, but they still typically have Snarl on a lot of builds, so it's like just not safe most of the time. Alright, yep, there's Eveltal. That kind of screams, hey buddy, I just Snarl, or I'm, I'm, I'm about to Snarl, you know? Alright, so no screens coming out from this guy, probably just Snarled. How many times can I say Snarl? As many times as this guy snarls. So I'm glad I got the light screen off first. Uh, that makes it a lot easier to face the Sea Veltal. Especially if I get like a special defense drop here. Oh, that did a ton. Hello? That wasn't a crit? <laughs> that was a little nasty. I can't lie, that was a little nasty. Alright, we'll go for the Spirit Break here. Uh, and I'll get in my Ferrothorn. I think that's fine. Honestly, if I can set up an Iron Defense once this Eveltal is gone, I feel pretty confident about winning with Pharaoh. So, yeah, because there's probably a Solgaleo in the back. Like, I don't see why you wouldn't bring Solgaleo. So, why special attack Dialga? I mean, Dialga has a higher special attack stat. Like, that's kind of intuitive. You wouldn't run physical Dialga because it gets intimidated and it's a lower stat. Yeah, judging by the damage, it's got to be, like, Life Orb. Ooh, yikes. Alright, how much is Spirit Break doing? Almost enough to KO, which I'm cool with. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit it again. And I'll protect this turn. Alright, Spirit Break, Protect... Yeah, like I said, if there's a Solgaleo in the back and they let me get off an Iron Defense, it's, like, not good for them. Unless they have, like, a Fire move on Solgaleo, which would imply that they're running AV. Which I'm much better about. Like, I'm much better in that matchup. Earthworm protects. That means they attack this turn. Hopefully they don't flinch me. Because they're probably just gonna... Okay, they Heat Wave. Awesome. So I'm going to get the world's weakest spirit break off. Oh wow, that was... <laughs> that was a considerable amount of damage considering what we were hitting. <laughs> like, all things considered, that was that was a chunk. Uh, yeah, I want to say that they probably don't have a fire move, but I still have to scout for it. Oh, yeah, Specs Gastron could totally work. It's just not as uh, reliable as other sets, you know? So I'll go for the Reflect here. Um, I'll get in the Dialga. I'm pretty sure we're just going to get Quaked, but honestly, it's whatever. <laughs> we're actually probably going to get Steel Spiked, if anything. Well, that's going to be into the, um, into the boy, the Legend, the Grim Snarl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have Bulldoze, but if I get this Reflect off, I'm kind of cool with it. Yep, 
Yep, there it is. I bet you it's just a steel spike. Nope, okay, it's quick. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I'm not terribly concerned about this, um, and the reason is I just have to keep Ferrothorn alive long enough to just win. So I think what I'll do here, Kyogre is timid, so I'd like to KO everything around the, um, around this guy first. And I can accomplish that, I think. Thoughts on AV Cobalion in this format? I haven't even thought about AV Cobalion. Um, Cobalion's the one with the bad special defense, right? Go for the guys who are into you. I'm thinking as far as AV Cobalion, um, I don't know what it'd be useful on. Steel types are good, right? Like, they're typically good. Um, it does decent into Groudon, but it just drops to Zard. However, it would outspeed Zard, and you could run, like, Rock Slide for that. Um, I don't know. We could see. Like, it'd be something you'd have to really look into. Yeah, I'm thinking you would have to do beat up strats, if anything. Okay. So even if they go for, like, Snarl into Max Quake, this thing should be gone. It's actually Bulldoze. That's fine. I guess my worst nightmare here would be if my, uh... Oh, he's got Max Lightning? Hello? Okay, we're fine. This should KO. So, what what is your move set? I mean, it's probably got a psychic move. Or maybe it doesn't. If it's it's got Quake Steel Spike, it's gotta have like if if you're what's its last move? I hope it doesn't have a fire move. I'd be really concerned. But you would think you would go for the fire move last turn, if anything, you know. Um. Spirit Break you. It's in my best interest to... I can't max guard this turn. I might as well Geyser the Solgaleo, even though it's probably not going to do much. Yeah, I live that. That tells me they probably didn't double, which is actually pretty awesome. Oh, wait, I think they did. No, they didn't. Okay. No, that's that's awesome. That's actually really awesome. All right, that does a decent chunk. Spirit break. It's going to break the sash on you. And I think I can win with a single target Origin Pulse if I can target down this um, Whimsicott before it gets too strong. Go for an attack into you. I'm actually going to switch out here because if they don't have Tailwind, that'd be great. Because then Scarf Kyogre can be useful again. But I'm pretty sure they have to have Tailwind, you know? Energy Ball is going to do... Alright. I'm pretty sure they just Wild Charged me, so they're going to take a lot of damage here. Yep. I did, like, almost nothing. Iron Barbs plus Recoil. A little bit of recovery here. Um, It's in my best interest to body press this Solgaleo, like, now. Get in the Kyogre. And in the interest of not missing, I might lock myself into Thunder. I still have four turns of Reflect, which is great for this win con. 
Yeah, um, Thunder into Body Press should do it. I don't believe the Solgaleo is gone for any Steel Spikes yet. Yeah, no, they have no defense boost, just special defense boost. Thunder is 100% accurate. You might be wondering why I would lock myself into that when I can go for Origin Pulse and get damage off, any, off on everything. Uh, it's literally just because I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to miss, and that would ruin the game. Yep, there's the Tailwind, that's fine. Could Iron Defense, I suppose. But if I got Encored, that'd be an issue. Okay, that's actually really awesome. I really hope you don't have Encore. Because the reason I didn't Ice Beam the Whimsicott is because I know this doesn't KO. All right, now things get really, really scary because it comes down to if they can uh, crit me. How many turns of Reflect are left? I need to make sure I'm not going to get screwed by this. Three turns of Reflect. I should always be able to take this now. Let me protect. If they have Encore, I just lose. They have Helping Hand? Okay, no, that's fine. You're just going to KO your own guy. I should win now. Awesome. Yeah, that should be a win. Shout out to Ferrothorn, the most busted Pokemon ever. <laughs> okay. Now we just body press. I mean... They could crit me, which I shouldn't mention, but I, I have to. It's it's my responsibility as a streamer to mention the fact that I could get crit here. Okay, we're good. Good game. Nice. Yeah, that was terrifying. That was terrifying, man. Okay. All right, Pat Padillac, like a Cadillac. Oh, guys, it's the team. This is the second time. This is the second time we're facing the team. Okay, uh, we've learned our lesson. We have to play our Ferrothorn much safer. Ferrothorn is much more important to the end game than we previously gave it credit for. Um, and I definitely need Kyogre. It's the team. Dude, I got I got quantum physics homework to do tonight. And PBF, thank you so much for gifting that sub as well. Okay. All right. No, no, no. I can live with that. I can live with that. I can live with that. That's fine. 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 Um, is it charty? Do it farty? <laughs> These are the questions we should be asking. Is it charty in do it farty? Pretty sure it's Charty. So we're going to do this. I'm going to max Airstream into it this turn. And I'm going to get to my Kyogre to reduce the damage. Like a lot. No Charty? That's fine. That's fine. I think I get more out of the Airstream anyways. Because they should be probably going for a uh, max wildfire here, which we can cut the damage of considerably with the rain. They withdraw the Charizard. Yo, am I going to get the Gastro? Yo, I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me the one check you have to Kyogre. Give me the one and only check. 
I will even go for a max or go for go for a water spot this turn. I will even do that. Gladly, in fact. Please give me your answer. They were thinking they were about they were about to take a rock fall. That's why you go for the airstream there, because it's still a KO if you do it twice, you know? Kill the slug. Protect. Well, I mean, you can't, because you're AV. Silly. Oh! Do I smell a two-hit KO? Fellas, I smell a two-hit KO. Grass not Lando. Listen, we're not the based wolfy team. Miss. Alright, that's gonna bounce off. Alright, it didn't bounce off, but it came close. All right, all right, all right, all right, check this out. Max Airstream again. But now we go hard into Grimmsnarl? No, I stay in. I think I always stay in and I go for the Origin Pulse because I still get something. Like, I always get something from this. The only way that they get out of this is if they decide to Dynamax the Gastrodon, which is probably not the best play. But this is definitely a 2 at KO. Don't protect, silly goose. Just give me the gastro. Give me the gastro and no one gets hurt except for the gastro. No way. You didn't. You didn't just... If that's a Master Ball gastro, I'm going to lose my mind. There's no way that's a Master Ball gastrodon. Okay. I was like... I was this close. I reached my limit in that in that very moment. I had reached my limit. Okay, that's fine because I believe you don't get a boost from this. Do you? Yeah, you don't. I just always airstream three times into that, don't I? Like, there's no reason not to. Like, truly. I probably lost my Kyogre. Oh, I didn't? Hello? Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's fine. Listen, uh, me and my Kyogre are leaving. Me and my Kyogre have decided to exit the battle. Prematurely. Well, maybe just the Kyogre. Maybe maybe just the Kyogre. Uh, and in, in his stead, I will send in his good friend, Snarl of the Grim Clan. The Invisible Focus Band? Exactly. Me casually tossing a Focus Band across the field onto my Kyogre. Oh, well, I didn't see anything happen. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Don't throw the flag on the field, ref, please. It's because me and my Kyogre love each other. It's the it's the heart of the cards. Mira V, thanks for the sub. 15 months, dude. Well over a year. Moxie boosted my boy. What's good? Just made a team, a team using Drampa? Okay, that's got to be heat. That's actually got to be heat. That's, like, got to be legitimately heat. Okay, but now why don't I just Earthquake? Because you're in range of Earthquake. Like, you are. Like, don't lie to me. Max Rockfall? In this economy? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna start Earthquaking. Because it's funny. And I can go for a Reflect as well. Hopefully I don't crit myself through that. In this economy, a max rockfall? You gotta be kidding me. I don't believe Zacia needs this, but if it does, I'm gonna cry. Post it later in team review. Sounds good, Mir. 
No shot at eats it. I don't know, man. Some people have been like, <laughs> some people have been doping their Zacian with sugar berries. <laughs> it's a huge controversy going on in VGC right now. Okay, so Charizard came in, but why do I care? I'm just gonna rock slide. Earthquake. Okay, that did a decent chunk on Gastro. I will admit. Okay, well now you eat. A little bit more concerning than otherwise. However, the flinch is still on the table. The flinch is still an option, and I can always get off my uh, my light screen now. Not terribly concerned about the damage output from this Groudon at this point. We got Reflect up, we got everything. Uh, you know, he, he should not be happy about this. Uh, I'll go ahead and get my light screen off, just in case they decide to go for like a Blast Burn. <clears throat> I mean, Sugarberry can't even activate on non-crown Zacian. <laughs> like, it straight up can't. Because it's not weak to ground moves. Gonna draw the Groudon. Oh, he's trying to give me an ultimatum here. He's like, okay, you can hit one or the other. Guess what? I'm gonna Rock Slide and flinch the Zacian. And he's gonna have to deal with that. Actually, no, I don't have to choose. I still just Earthquake. No, I, I literally just still Earthquake. Because you don't KO me. Oh, but what if he does? What if he, like, gets in the grout on here? I think I still just Rock Slide. I still Rock Slide, and here I'm actually going to go for a Spirit Break into you. <laughs> In case it lives. I'm honestly more concerned about Charizard than anything. Because I think they want to go into Groudon here. And then KO me. I think that's like their big brain play. Oh, got him. Got him. Don't miss. Disgusting. Okay. Blast burn? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Hey, guess who doesn't have to deal with this Charizard anymore? That's right. It's me. Uh, guess who gets to Earthquake this turn? <laughs> it's still me. How did it tank it? I mean, I got the, uh, I got the light screen off. Another Invisible Sash. This guy's got to be molding. This guy's got to be molding so hard. Okay. Uh, yeah, I kind of have to Earthquake here. Kind of have to Earthquake. Pretty sure... It's in my best interest to hold on to this for the late game screens. I'm going to get in my Ferrothorn. I don't think I KO the Gastron, but I should KO the Zacian. I'm pretty sure, like, everything's in range of an Earthquake. Or, not everything, but everything's in range of, like, getting annihilated by Earthquake. <laughs> Does it KO? Ooh, not quite. Not quite. But he shouldn't be too happy about this. He shouldn't be too comfortable about what he what's what position he's in. I'm just gonna body press that gastro. Uh, I send in the Ferrothorn here. Oh no, I send in the Kyogre, what am I saying? 
I, I could origin pulse. I mean, we know for a fact. No, no, I have to I have to ice beam. No, no, I have to origin pulse. This is really sad. Uh, the reason I have to origin pulse is because no, because Groudon should KO itself on me with iron barbs. I'm gonna double out into the Grim Snarl and I'm gonna try to KO this this Ferrothorn with body press, and then I can lock myself into um, and then I can lock myself into uh, my funny move, my origin pulse, and just hope I don't miss. Gastron used to protect. That's fine. Christmas Blades. I thought I was slick. I thought I was slick there. Okay, how do I do this now? Gastron is in range of Ice Beam. Okay, yeah, no, now I think I actually locked myself into my funny move. Now I think that's the only way I get away with this. How do they never miss their P-Blades? Magic. Actual magic. Alright, time to give this thing a boost and just hope for the best. Is that really my play? <sighs> this is so risky. Okay, uh, I'm going to Ice Beam the Gastrodon. And I'm going to go for the Body Press on the, on the Groudon because I think they're going to switch into Zashi in here. No, they don't. Okay. I can still win if I get lucky in. <laughs> Miss? That's what I thought. No. That's what I thought. Imagine missing. It couldn't be me. I locked into Ice Beam. I literally can't miss. I'm using Ice Beam. I'm pretty sure that thing's in range of two Ice Beams after, like, hitting the Ferrothorn. I'm pretty sure it's in range of Ice Beam plus Body Press. Uh, it, might, it, might, it might not be, though. It might not be. Streamer luck? Exactly. Exactly. Granted, it could always just Sacred Sword me and ruin my life. But I could also freeze it, so... Cope. I think I still have a turn to Reflect. Check out the freeze so I don't have to deal with the, the repercussions of my actions. Umith Blade? Okay. I think I got one more turn of screens and I really need them. Or I could crit. Oh, ho, ho. oh! Things are getting a little, a little, a little spicy. Things are getting a little spicy here. I have one turn left to reflect. I have no choice but to attack here. Sacred Sword, tank it. That's what I thought, Ferrothorn. That's what I thought. Didn't even have to hit him. I could have Iron Defense there for Reflex. Had to attack. That was a 100% mandatory body press. Oof. Okay. Maybe they could have checked the, uh, the amount of turns left on Reflect, and that would have changed how they looked at the game. But. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs>